7-0, have it back with 14-12 to go before halftime. Make your picks with ProLine from Sport Select and win big with American football. Choose the winning football teams and this could be your lucky week. It's simple. Pick up a game list, look it over, use your skill, and you could be a winner. This week, the odds are... Wager and win on American football with ProLine from Sport Select. Canadian Tire, Canada's tire store, has earth-shaking news for everyone who owns a car. Now, for a limited time, take advantage of special buys on quality North American-made MotoMaster tires. For example, all 13-inch MotoMaster AW Plus tires for just $39 each, 14-inch or $49 each, and 15-inch are only $59 each installed. So hurry in today. This offer ends September 30th. With Canadian Tire money, there's a lot more for your car for a lot less. Scarborough's Best Homes. Scarborough's Best Prices. 35-foot and 40-foot lots from 219990 24 fabulous designs. From 219990 only from Chestnut Hill Homes. They won't last long. 401 East to Fort Union Road, north to Rylander, left on Rylander to Tideswell. Bo Maris, from 219990 up to 3,100 square feet. Dylan's past just caught up with him. Dylan has flipped out. Hope is fading fast on Beverly Hills 90210. Monday at 5.30 on CFMT. You? And there's an aerial shot of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame itself, designed by the great architect I.M. Pei. Just one of the fabulous attractions available here in Cleveland as this city enjoys its most attractive here in they quite said, some time. They said take it, set aside four hours at least to tour that place. Even your back, Todd Roller. Yet another attraction. <laughs> First and ten for the Browns after the change of possession. Vinny T throws deep for Michael Jackson. Jackson says, hey, Dale Carter's all over me, and the yellow flag comes down. Well, I'm not sure if the, uh, the infraction was uh, with Carter or if it was... Uh, Holding was... number 34, yeah. defense. You're sure now. Five-yard sure. penalty. Okay, you can see Carter right here. A little bit past. Yeah, I just see him grabbing onto Michael Jackson's jersey, trying to impede his uh, progress downfield. Thing is, Dale Carter's quick enough, and he can carry a man, carry a guy speed for speed, man for man, down the field. Sometimes you get turned the wrong way. You got to look for a little advantage. Carter, that time matched against Michael Jackson. Many say he made the Pro Bowl last year with his great show head-to-head -head against Andre Risen when Risen was in a Falcon uniform and they were playing on a nationally televised Sunday night game. First down, 10 football at the 27 after the five-yard mark-off. Pitch to Leroy Horde, and Horde has a couple at most before he's dropped by number 51, Greg Minuski. Cleveland Browns dominated the first period of play they had the football for 23 plays to only six for the Kansas City Chiefs, Bob. Well, you know, we talked about both offenses, and Kansas City's offense just needs to, you know, they're talking about we need to start the run game, we need to get the pass game going. They need to get something going right now, because six plays in a quarter is not going to get them any points. Well, they have not gotten their running game going in Cleveland hands, and thus the advantage so far for the Browns, and Testaverde continues to play immaculate football. Except for, of course, on this play when he finds himself sacked and his jersey gets uh, a little bit dirty. And that's the third sack of the early season for defensive tackle Dan Saliamua. Well, as we said before, they've changed the defense where they have they have uh, moved the defensive tackles up on the line. Dan Saliamua has become more of a factor than he has in the past. Watch him just pressure the inside. He's about six foot tall, about 305 pounds. Great low leverage and is just able to work his way between a couple of the Browns offensive linemen. But uh, Marty Schottenheimer last year said that sometimes he was great. Other plays he was just another guy. But this year he is a, he is a man. He is going out there and playing great all the time. Nine yard loss on the sack. Third down to 18. 
Need to get him through the 37. Throw to Reisman. He didn't turn around in time. And Dale Carter was there on the coverage. That time, Testaverde had enough confidence to release the football before Ryzen made his move. Right. Well, we talked about the problem on timing here when it seems to be uh, a little bit better. But in this play, Vinny Testaverde had to throw the ball way before Andre Ryzen even had a chance to turn and make his break back, come back for the ball. And that makes it easy for Dale Carter. So Testaverde goes to the sideline. And Tamarek Vanover will wait deep for Tom Tupa's punt. There's Vanover at his 37-yard line. Played Canadian Football League football last year. Leaving Florida State following his sophomore year. Takes Tupa's punt at the 34. Trying to get outside and finds a momentary crevice before he's knocked out at about the 38-yard line by Gerald Dixon. So the Kansas City Chiefs struggling offensively so far, get their third chance in a moment. 364 morning jugs, 103 rounds, seven sparring partners, 10 p.m. curfew, three inflated lips, seven knockouts, equals one title shot. For all you do, this bud's for you. The landscaping fell victim to the insect plague of 2004. Around 2019, a new use was found for automobiles. And by 2030, the house was on its seventh paint job. In truth, about all that's lasted since 1995, is the lifetime finish on the Wiser Brilliance brass handle set. Wiser Brilliance weathers the lifetime. Everybody needs a money sometime. Everybody needs some cash somehow. When you need money fast, Hello, Mom. count on Western Union. We send more money in minutes to more people in Canada and around the world than anyone else. Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Available at A&P and Dominion. You're watching Canada's first multicultural television system, CFMT, broadcasting from London, Ottawa, and Toronto. You're watching the NFL on CFMT. Floats overhead, providing us with our aerial views of today's football game. Kansas City Chiefs first and ten at their own 37-yard line. Greg Hill breaks out across the 50 to about the 47 before, or check it, it's Kimball Anders, not Greg Hill. Griffin and Turner make the stop for the Browns, and Kimball Anders, better known as an outstanding pass receiver, at the big run for the Chiefs. Well, this is their version of the counter trail OT. You're going to see the backside guard and tackle pulling around to lead for Greg Hill, who's going to, as they're going to seal the lineman to the outside. Kimball Anders, I made I'm sorry, yes. Kimball Anders, and, uh, but just nice, found a nice hole but, but behind that uh, OT block. And as we come back, it is Hill with the football, and Hill has met and dropped for virtually no gain. Man at the bottom of the pile is number 98, Anthony Pleasant. As you look at Marcus Allen, who has returned to the field and is icing the area above his left eye, impossible for us to tell whether he's had any stitches there, and we'll uh, try to get word from the sideline as to what was done when Marcus took the trip to the locker room. Second down, eight yards to go. Football at the 44. Bono, foot slipped once, but then released down the middle. Got it to Anders. Dependable receiver gets inside the 40 to about the 37. Well, the Browns are getting them to do what they want them to do. We asked the, the Brown, Pepper Johnson how, well, how frustrating it is to get to him because it's the three-step drop, the five-step drop. How do you get to the guys? He's an eligible receiver. 73 is eligible. Joe Valerio in the game as a backup tackle and will be an eligible receiver. And he said all you do is just keep getting up in his face, keep going after him. If you can, if the coverage guys can stay on their men and force him to, to pump it and bring the ball back down instead of dumping it off real quick, it'll give us more time to get to him up front. Third and a half yards, setbacks are Leroy Thompson and Tony Richardson, and it's Thompson who has the football. Gets across the 35 to pick up a first down 
for the Chiefs. Well, they've got to be happy with what they've got going. At least, at least they've, they're putting together a first down and a, and a little bit of a series. You see there, Cleveland Browns, 10 first downs so far. Kansas City only with two. Marty Schottenheimer. Chatting on the sideline with number 26, Tim Watson, a reserve strong safety. Webster Slaughter is in the football game and flexed to the near side. Bono looks in that direction, throws underneath the hill. And they're going to call it incomplete as Hill did not get down in bounds. Mike Caldwell, number 56, was over to shadow him from his outside linebacker position. Well, they, they work with the receivers on, on these sideline routes, and you see coming down with a foot. Even his first foot was out of bounds. But, you know, the, as a running back, you're called upon to make a lot of catches, a lot of things out in the flats, a lot of little dump passes over the middle. Very seldom do you, are you called upon to make that high-reaching catch along the sidelines, dragging your feet. So they don't have the work that the wide receivers do with that kind of technique. Anders is flanked to the left. Rare spot for a fullback. Hill gets the call, and Cleveland was not fooled by all the motion and the unusual formation as Goad and Footman together are there to help make the stop for the Browns. Well, the first time I asked Marty about what his West Coast, his, his definition of his West Coast offense was, he said multiple formations, multiple motions, creating indecisions in the, res in the responsibilities of the defense. There you saw a fullback split out wide, and Cleveland just basically said, we know what you're doing. They say, hey, we're a multiple formation, multiple motion team also. <laughs> we watch this stuff in practice. Third down nine, football at the 33. Flags down, and they'll stop the play. Well, just prior to the snap, the Browns defense started pointing over to the offensive lineman of the Kansas City Chiefs on the right-hand side. So I think, I think they feel somebody flinched over there. If you've watched this game, you know Jerry Markwright. Ball start, number 69, offense. Prior to any snap, five-yard penalty, third down. Offensive You're tackle, Jeff Criswell. Right I'm sorry, Jeff, Jeff Criswell, yeah. You're going to see him flinch. Just rocking back a little bit. Tell you what, as an offensive lineman set up, you know, getting ready to uh, pass block, if you've got some good rushers in front of you, some of these guys you start, you, you want to be able to get back into your position to pass block as quickly as possible. And Rob Burnett is a pretty good pass rusher. That's exactly right. So some of these guys, have, if, the, uh, if the, the call by the quarterback goes a little long, they have a tendency to kind of roll back out of it. So Criswell cost him five as he got himself set to go against Burnett. And now Belichick heatedly communicating with the field as the Chiefs line up on third and 14. I think Belichick wanted the safeties to flex a little deeper on the third down 14 pole. Leroy Thompson in the game at tailback. They give to Thompson on the draw. Breaks one tackle and would have needed to break a couple more to get the first down, but got good yardage inside the 30 before Don Griffin made the stop. Well, he, got, he just got pinned between uh, Pepper Johnson and Dan Footman. And I think both those guys bounced off. You're going to see them hit together right, oh, right there. Knock, basically knocking each other off. Thompson being able to uh, make the break and uh, offer that tackle and uh, gain quite a bit of yardage. It's fourth down and four to go with the football at the 28. Kansas City lining up as if to go for it. And they do. Bono with the play fake. And a very difficult throw is broken up by Antonio Langham. Intended receiver was late Dawson, but Bono late making that throw, and Langham was right there. Right, Langham. Langham a great ball player, great reaction, and a nice play on the ball. So trying to get something done on fourth down, the Chiefs fail. Not long ago, the men and women of Canadian Airlines signed on as owners of their company. Well, the ink is dry, and this is what it says. It says that each and every individual who owns a piece of this company is going to the ends of the earth to make a difference. No other airline in Canada is introducing more services to Asia, Latin America, and the USA. 
and no other airline is offering Club Empress a more comfortable way to get there. Because beyond the surface of every name is someone who understands there's a whole world out there. And if you want to get ahead in it, there's one other place you must always go. October 15th. Watch Sunday afternoon football on CFMT and you can qualify for a chance to win a 1996 Chevrolet Cavalier Z22. Your Ontario Chevrolet dealers have Canada's best-selling car five years running. Be alert. Spot the 1996 Chevrolet Cavalier that will appear on the screen. Write down the number and call for a chance to drive away a winner. It all happens beginning October 15th. CFMT Sunday afternoon football and your Ontario Chevrolet dealers. A winning combination. You go, boy! Everybody's talking, Jerry! Jerry, we over you! Weeknights at 10 on CFMT. It's about life. We missed the grandpa! Love and loss. Nice day! On a special full house. Monday at 7.30 on CFMT. Well, Steve Bono, possibly you should have made the, the throw to Kimball Anders. Everybody ending up in one position. Perhaps a break in, uh, in a formation. Marty, very disappointed. Thought he had an opportunity. Had a couple guys open, but they all ended up in the same zone. Yeah, it looked like Bono simply waited a beat too late to make the throw. And thus, Anders and Dawson were together. On first down for the Browns, Testaverde throws in and out of the hands of Michael Jackson. And Jackson's been having a very dependable season. That's out of character. Let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York. All right, in Cincinnati, the Oilers and the Bengals. Oilers off to a two-touchdown lead. The Bengals come right back. 23-yard touchdown run by Harold Green, and it's now a 14-7 Houston lead. Let's go back to Cleveland. Harold Green still the featured running back for the Bengals. In the wake of the season-ending injury to Kijana Carter. Second down, 10 for the Browns. Ernest Hunter, the rookie out of Southeast Oklahoma State, has a hole and a quick burst for about seven before Tracy Simeon makes the stop. Steve Crosby promising us that the Southeast Oklahoma State rookie would get a chance today, and he has. Although Bill Belichick kind of poo-pooed the idea. He didn't seem to be as enthusiastic. I think, I think Crosby had a, a little agenda of his own, wants to get Hunter a little bit of playing time here. Spiner in the football game now on third down three. Football at the 35. They need to get it to the 38. Testaverde with three wide receivers flexed to the right. Including a big tight end who's running the seam down the middle. Then he throws in the flat to McCarter. And he's out of bounds. Incompleted pass. Mark Collins there to make the play for the Chiefs. Well, the ball thrown wide open, but... I don't know if they felt that he had possession. Uh, he didn't, I guess, didn't really have possession as the feet were coming down on the uh, sideline there. So good call by the referees once again. And the incomplete pass sends Tom Tupo on the field to kick it to Tamarek, or Tamarek, Van Over. He's still the only guy that has a uh, kickoff return this year, isn't he? 99-yarder against Seattle in the first game.